Shop and Shop Vibes. What's up, YouTube? We are back. Back with another video, baby. Oh, yeah. Guys, today we got something very special. Tell them, boom. I can't because I'm too excited. Today we are doing a collaboration. Hmm. I'm gonna do the drum roll. Can I do it? I'm gonna why do. Why you? Why are you so stressed I'm out? Gonna, I'm I'm gonna, I like to do it. Please, it's my favorite I'm gonna thing to do, do. I'm gonna do the drum roll, and you're gonna tell us. Wait, first, make sure you like this video, comment, and please hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification button on. So I'm gonna do the drum roll, and you're gonna tell them who we doing a collab cooking video with. No, let's switch. I do the drum roll. That's my favorite thing to do. Come on, you always have to make your queen, right? Yeah, see, I'm his queen, right? Happy. I'm going to do the drum roll. No, 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 no. I go to do the drum roll. Ready? You know what? I do quit. Do -do -do. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. How are you quitting when I we do it in the lab? What is happening here? Okay, listen. All right. Listen. 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 I'm, all right, I'm gonna do the drum roll, and we both gonna tell them who we doing a collab with. How about that? I like the other way better. Compromise, please. All right. You're not doing a drum roll. I'm doing a drum roll. We both go tell them. Ready? Guys, today we are doing a collab with Ray Mac Kitchen and Grill. Guys, if you don't know who Ray Mac Kitchen and Grill is, please check out his video. The link will be in the description. He is a great person. Yes, his video, guys, his recipe be on the money. Check him out, guys. He's so nice. He's got a lot of southern comfort foods, soul foods, a lot of mm. banging recipes. Banging, bang, bang, banging. Guys, check him out. Hey, what's up? What's up? This your boy Ray Mac. Glad to meet you. So guys, today we got something really good in store for you guys. So guys, today we got something really good in store for you. Tell them what we're cooking. I totally Tell them what we're cooking. do Come not on. sound like that. Come Stop that drum roll. Stop. I don't sound like that. But two, I'm going to tell them. Two hours later. Anyway, so we are making an Asian-inspired spicy chicken chow mein. <laughs> So excited, it's going to be. Fix your face. Why, what's the matter with you? You always get that excited for food? When I'm hungry. When I'm hungry. Hmm. Guys, uh, so. Guys, without further ado, it's, it's about, about to go, go down. down. chicken chow mein. Y'all ready? We ready. Oh yeah. All right guys. So first things first, we need some oil. All right. We need some browning sauce. Olive oil. Olive oil. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Your pleasure. <laughs> you need some oyster sauce guys. Get you some oyster sauce. You need some salt. You need some black pepper. You need Cajun salt, spicy Cajun salt seasoning, some onion powder, garlic powder, carrots, you need onions. Fresh, fresh veggies. All veggies must be fresh, guys. Let me get up, let me let me show them these fresh veggies right We here. need one green pepper, one red pepper, some scallions. You can't... Wait, wait, scallions are also known as what? Just in case they don't know. Tell them. Honey? Green onions. 
There's a lot chives. of different chives. There's a lot of different names for yeah. the scallions. Absolutely, guys. You can't make chicken chow mein without spicy chicken chow mein. Without chow mein noodles, right? These are our favorite. Yeah, I love lambs. I love the flat ones because they have different versions. Can you guys see this good? You can see that? I can see that okay. blood and clear. We can see it as big as your forehead. Don't get karate. <laughs> oh, good. All right, guys. And we have about two big fat chicken breasts here, all right, that we already seasoned with two tablespoons of our Cajun spicy style seasoning, two tablespoons of our onion powder, two tablespoons of our garlic powder, and one teaspoon each of salt and black pepper, guys. Yeah. Don't forget, if you guys can't find those chow mein noodles, Use ramen noodles. Use spaghetti. Use what you have. Use what you have, guys. Now watch this. All right, chefs and chefs. Hope you guys hit that subscribe button because this video is going to be banging. This recipe is going to be double banging and the food's going to taste triple banging. So guys, come closer. So what we did was we put our chow mein to boil. Mm -hmm, it boiled for about eight minutes. I added butter and salt, and now I'm gonna take it out. You don't want to overcook your chow mein. Why? Because you're gonna cook it again. So remember that. You don't want to overcook your chow mein. So I'm gonna take the chow mein off the stove. I boiled it in boiling water for about seven to eight minutes. I'm gonna strain it in our colander. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Yes, hot. Back up, back, back up. I wanna see, I wanna see. I'm gonna hot, you. hot. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna just run a little cold water on there, cool it down. Can you see it? Woo! See that? Can't can't see it really. Alright, we can see it now. You we can, can see, see it. it. So the chow mein is done. Chef and chef -ass. Hey beautiful chef Sam, what you doing? Oh guys, Ooh. I am cooked in this spicy Asian. Mmm, chicken. That thing smells good. Oh my God. Guys, so before I get too distracted by the smell, let me tell you what we did and doing, all right? Please. Mm. So, first and foremost, here we have an electric wok. You don't need that. You can have a regular wok. You can have a frying pan. You can have whatever in, you have in your kitchen to make some darn chicken, okay? Get you okay. that. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right, guys. So we got what we had to make our chicken. We took our chicken. We took our olive oil. We put a little bit of olive oil in our wok. All right. We let it heat up. We took our chicken, threw it in our bad boy right here, and we cooking it for eight to ten minutes, guys. And you see this? You see mm, how it's looking? That smell good. No, 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 no. You see how it's looking? Not we, how it's smelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They we, can't smell it. I can smell it. Take my word for it. It smells damn good. It smells damn good, guys. Ooh. Let me show you how it's looking. Can I, I, can I get a piece? To, no. I want you guys to see stingy. how it looks, all right? Because then you'll know when it's time to take it out. Time it, but look. M move your hand before I slap it. See this, guys? Oh, oh, you're always violent. Oh, my God, guys. Uh. It's been about 10 minutes, I so think, I'm gonna take. I think Puerto Ricans should come, come with like a, a warning label. This is true. All Puerto Ricans come Trini with like. Should a, too, you know. No, Trinis don't come with a warning no, label. No, but they should. We not violent. We, Move your hand for I slap it. You should come with a warning label. Slap something else before. They never listen, see listen. me slap. Yo, guys, make, guys. make sure you guys like and, and subscribe. The, if the you're uh, if you're new to this channel, please. Yeah. Please hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Yes, guys. Make sure you do that. Make sure you do that. And let me, before this chicken burn, take this out, guys. And Chef X, back with the next step. Dad, guys. I hope you hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this video, that subscribe button better be great. So now we're on to sauteing our veggies. Some of you may not like veggies. You ain't got to use it. So skip this part if you don't like veggies. I love veggies. We didn't ask you. I'm telling you. Are we, I, I did ask you. I love it. it. It's good for you, you know. All Do right. you love veggies, Chef Trini? I like these veggies. So okay. guys, now we're sauteing our veggies. Take our carrots. First, oh, I'm sorry. We put olive oil in our wok. I'm gonna add the carrots. Mix 
that up. Add our onions. Yeah, can I see? Come a little close. Come, show them inside here what it's looking like. Please, show them what it's looking like. This shouldn't take too long. You're gonna saute your veggies for about five to six minutes. Look at all these veggies you got here. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, oh, I'm sorry. Forgot to tell you guys about these bean sprouts. Bean sprouts are banging. That that banging. Yeah, they give they give that food that nice crunch and a great flavor. Ooh, y'all hear that? That thing sizzling. I hear it. We're gonna add our peppers. We got our red peppers, our green peppers. We're gonna add that in the bunch. I'm not gonna put this in yet. I'm gonna saute these. Veggies right here. Y'all hear that? We hear that. We get see that, it too. Ooh, get that mixed around all up in that olive oil. Guys, if you want to give your veggies a little flavor, throw a little black pepper in there. Just a little bit. Gives it a nice little flavor. That's optional. Some of you may not like spice. So you don't have to put the black pepper. You don't have to use the uh, Cajun seasoning. But we like spice. That looks nice. It smells nice. I, I, I wish y'all could smell through these lens. Cause it smells good. <laughs> Ooh, y'all hear it though? We hear it. Y'all can hear it. That look good. All right, so How I'm long gonna, you cooking that? I'm gonna cook this for about five to six minutes. And halfway through, I'm gonna add our bean sprouts. So let me show y'all what we are gonna do. Hey, hey. Guys, go. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe! If you've been hanging with us, thanks for hanging. If you're new, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. This spicy chicken chow mein is going down. Yes, guys. So it's been about five to six minutes, guys, that we've been sauteing our vegetables. I'm about to add a little bit more olive oil. Ooh, shoot. Just a little you bit. You about to bust the bottle. You saw that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Can y'all hear that sizzling? That sizzling just, I love that noise. I don't know why. We have our chow mein that's already cooked. We throwing it right in here, this bad boy. And we gonna cook this. Right in the wok wok. Right in the wok Let wok. me see you do the food dance. Ooh, go, 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 go. Where he at? Where he at? Where he at? Go. Go, go, all right, all right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's it, that's it, because I don't want to, you know, that's burn this stuff up. Please, for real. Guys, right, so we are going to mix this around. I think I need another spoon. You look like you're struggling, there yes, you Yes, let me get another spoon. I'm going to, I think, I think you um messed it up my scene. That's I, what I, you're doing? I didn't, that's nope. what you're doing? Nope. That's what's happening? Not at all. You just I don't, think so. You just don't know what you're doing. I, I always know you, what I'm you doing. Don't know, no? Always. You don't know what you're doing. Always know what I'm no, doing. No, you're doing two-two splats. Never. Yep. Right, so we're going to just mix this around, guys, for about five minutes. You don't want um, your noodles and your veggies to get soggy. So about five minutes, guys, because you want it to get nice and crisp, all right? Yeah, you want to fry that chow mein. That give that little chow mein a little crisp. Yeah, so mix it around did, nice did, and... Did you add the olive oil? Did I? Oh, I okay. Did. I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Pay attention. No, I'm sorry. Sorry. Pay attention. I'm sorry. I, I was saying rewind uh, this, uh, but uh, you know we live. So uh, what? I was saying rewind it, but you can't. You can't. We live. Rewind it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh gosh. Welcome back, chefs and chef vets. Spicy chow mein is almost finished. Mmm. 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 I can't wait. All right. So so far we uh, added our chow mein to our sauteed vegetables. It's still cooking. Let me show you these last final steps. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take our chicken breast that we cooked. That looks good. Can we see that one more time? Sorry, I just wanted to snatch a chicken to be honest. All right, go ahead, continue, carry on. I was gonna show you it again, but since you revealed your uh, ulterior motives, I'm not. Honesty is the best policy, I was told. <laughs> you know what, you're right. Thank you for being so honest, Chef Sam. You're welcome. So guys, I added the chicken breast to our chow mein and vegetables. Come close, come close. Can you see it? Can I just get in there real yeah, quick? Yeah, get in there, get in there real quick, please. Get in there, get right in there. Let me just see that. See that? You see those vegetables I'm gonna mix that, that chicken? Oh, I'm gonna mix that around. Get it all in, get everything nice and submerged and mixed up. Guys, please make this re recipe, please. Comment and subscribe. Let us know what you think. 
And for the final step, guys, is the sauce. Guys, let me hold this up for you. Oh, we hear that bad boy sizzling. Don't mind that. All right. Sorry. Watch this. Okay. Eyes right here. All right. Guys, right here, I have four tablespoons of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of browning. That's just for coloring. It is optional. You don't have to use browning, but the browning gives it a nice, dark, rich color. So I put one teaspoon of browning. You can get that at any supermarket. I also put one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning in this sauce. And you can put any of your favorite seasonings. What I did was I put a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, and a sprinkle of salt in here as well. But whatever, it, what, I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue tied because I'm getting hungry and it smells good. <laughs> but whatever your favorite seasonings are, your preference, your taste, you add it in here because this is the final step. Now come close while I add this sauce. Mmm, look at that. Y'all can see that? We could see that. So you're gonna add this? We see your waves too, it look nice. But I'm spinning, right? You're spinning. Wave check. Yeah, I'm doing the spin, I'm doing the matrix. All right, that's it. I'm getting dizzy. Oh, you getting dizzy? You getting dizzy? Yeah, I get dizzy. I am. And I didn't even know what you Y'all want this smoke. Think your waves better than mine? Comment below. Oh, my God. Comment below. We got a wave challenge. So I'm going to add that sauce in here. And for the final step, you're going to mix everything around. Come close. For the final mixing. All right, guys. That's it. So you're just gonna mix this around, get everything covered, and you're gonna have your finished product. Hey, Chef and Chefettes. Back with the finished product. Mm. Hope you guys liked this video. Hope y'all commented, and we hope y'all did what? Subscribe. Subscribe. Ooh. And turn on notifications. And Very turn important. on all notifications. Our spicy, Asian-inspired chicken chow mein is finito. See it? Mm. We didn't even do a thumbnail, greedy. Oh my bad, my bad. Ready? Oh, Three, don't two, talk with my phone. One thumbnail. One more. Three, two, one thumbnail. <laughs> one more. Three, two, one thumbnail. <laughs> you gonna mess that one up. <laughs> Guys, Guys, make this spicy chicken chow mein. So good. It is banging. It's so good. Yo, we really hope you guys liked our video. Mm. Please turn on your all notifications, comment, and subscribe. That's it, guys. And, and we, we are out. guys all right so go check out ray max kitchen and grill go see what he is chefing up guys and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we are